Okay, so here we have a vector application problem with a couple of wires that are holding a weight of 20,240 pounds. Now, what we're going to do here is break up each of these, the tension on each of these uh, wires. So I've called this tension 1, and I'm going to call this tension 2. We're going to break them up into horizontal and vertical components. So this uh, tension one here is uh, pulling in this direction, and it has a horizontal component pulling to the left, and it has a vertical component pulling up. And then this vector to the right has its horizontal component and its vertical component as well, with the resultant vector uh, being vector T2. Uh, we were given, uh, we would be given the angles in these problems. This one on the left is 24.3 degrees, and this angle on the left or on the right is 44.5 degrees. Now we're going to use these measures here, these angles and uh, the labels of T1 and T2 to find a, an expression for the uh, components of those vectors. So, for instance, on the left, if I do the uh, sine of 24.3, that's going to be equal to opposite uh, over uh, the hypotenuse, which would be T1. So, therefore, the opposite is equal to uh, T1 times sine of 24.3. So I'll just write that in up here. That's T1 sine 24.3. I'm going to do that in a different color. Not like that. Okay, so T1 sine 24.3. And then I can look at the, at the horizontal component is going to be cosine 24.3 equal to adjacent over uh, T1. And then that's going to give me the adjacent side here is equal to T1 times cosine 24.3. All right, and then we're going to have this uh, similar calculation on the right side as well. Uh, hopefully you can see how that would work out. If you need to, you can, you can work it out, but I'm sure you've got it. The, this bottom, the horizontal uh, portion on the right is going to be T2 cosine 44.5, and then the vertical component is going to be T2 sine of 44.5. Now from here we know some relationships and maybe we're not too familiar with these because they're uh, related to an understanding of physics. So what that means is that the horizontal the horizontal components are going to be equivalent because the weight or the uh, yes the weight is not moving. If it were if the horizontal components were not equivalent, then the weight would uh, have to be moving either to the right or to the left, depending on which had the greater force. Hopefully that makes sense. So there's the equation that I get from the horizontal components. Now the vertical components, what's happening here is the weight itself is uh, pulling down, right? So this downward pull on the weight here has to be counteracted by this vertical pull and this vertical pull. And again, since the weight is not moving, those are all uh, equivalent, or they all uh, zero out, I guess, would be a way to say it. And that gives us this equation that uh, T1 of... Uh, sine 24.3 plus T2 
sine of 44.5, that vertical component is going to, the sum of those two forces is going to be equal to the, this force here, uh, which is the 20,240 pounds. All right, and I'm not. I'm actually uh, going to end the video uh, here, and just point out that that see we have a system of equations here. So whenever I get to a system of equations in two variables, I'm happy to be here because I know I can solve uh, for the two variables. So of course, without going through this, we know that I could uh, solve this. Okay, I wrote that down wrong. Maybe you caught that when I did it uh, right here that is supposed to be uh, T2, correct? So let's replace that. Okay, so that's T2. All right, so uh, yeah, back to that. I, so now I can solve for, for either T1 or T2, and then whatever I'm solving for, I would substitute for here or here then this second equation would be in terms of a single variable which I could solve for. And then once I found that value, I could back substitute and find the other value. So I'm not going to uh, take you through the process of solving a system of equations, but you can see uh, where it's headed and where it's going to end up and how we would be able to solve for the tension 1 and the tension 2. Now hopefully you can take this understanding and apply it uh, to other applications on your own.